Okay, so so we're here in the uh, Mount Hood National Forest. And we're looking for morale. So today is May 24th, the Memorial Day weekend. So for this area, we want to look at things that are like this with sort of the mossy, clovey kind of area with trees in between a lot of fallen trees and logs and and a lot of branches pine needles and uh, so when you look carefully they sort of hide like this you see that right there this one right here and sometimes they're like together with another one like comes in a pair so when I see one I'll show it to you so so these are the two that are next to each other that you can see they're a little older now they they're kind of drying out and probably dying so better pick them up and you can see the surrounding environment they're pretty much blending with the colors that they have on them. Uh, so they sort of root off uh, some sort of thin layer of pine needles. And then the ground underneath is still moist. Still some moisture underneath them. So when you find one, and there are usually some more around it, probably is some sort of family things going on and the two more right here but these two are pretty much all dead see how like how burned and how dry they are and they're pretty much falling apart so we don't want these the top part of it really sort of blend in with the ground right so if you look like this and it will sort of blend into the ground if it's really if it angles towards you like that so if you look, but if you kind of get down to the level and you sort of see that white stem, then you so then you can make it out easier. So so far I have found these guys right here, half a dozen or so in this kind of environment, like fallen timbers, a lot of fallen timbers. Kind of clovey, a little mossy. Not, not actually, not too mossy. Underneath the soil, you can see still kind of moist, wet down there. And it's not a lot of, the pine needle coverage is not too much. So that they can still, you know, root it in the soil. Look at that. Wow. That's a nice size one. So here is a little mossier. And uh, I don't really expect them to really grow out of the completely mossy sort of the, the ground. But now can you spot it? Look at this one. This is a huge morale. A little dry. Seems to be... I think it's been a while. But uh, it's big. I think this is as big as they get. And then from then, they start to kind of get old and probably dying off soon if I don't harvest it so one thing you can tell there's a real morale is that it's a completely hollow inside all the way through well it's, it's a little dry but it's a big morale what do you say I'll keep it about to head back to my car at this big lot and guess what 
There's a huge morale. It's a nice one too. Just hidden there. See my my rod's pointing to it. You see it? Oh my goodness. Whoa. Look at this one. It's a nice one. Oh my goodness, fresh one too. Look at that. Wow, lucky me. See, sometimes you don't have to go far from where you park and you'll find morale right here. Yeah, this is a really good specimen, really firm not dried at all has a lot of feels like you know just really good texture and it has a lot of moisture still this is gonna be a good eating all right go join your friends okay so this is what i've ended up with today you know an hour in the forest Maybe an hour and a half um, on, on my way home from a fishing trip in central Oregon. So I passed Mount Hood and I, I pick up a few more of these guys. Uh, so this is the nicest one that I've got today. You can see it's like very firm. This is the one I found on the side of the road. I mean on the side of the parking lot right next to where I park. It's a surprise and, uh, it's, and happens to be the nicest one. Really firm and moist. You know, it's like, it's just as it's prime. So like if something like a little older, like this one, a little more brittle, drier and blackens. It's kind of like at the blackened end of it. You know, the ends little kind of burn almost because it's losing moisture. Yeah, this one's like really brittle, really old. So yeah, I'm gonna just kind of dust them off, you know, light, you know, lightly with some paper towels and kind of get rid of the, the bugs and the, the dirt, and then uh, put them in a frying pan and you know, saute with some butter and uh, garlic. Okay, so uh, we're gonna quickly just gonna cook up these uh, morales that I I got today. You know, so. It's already clean, so just kind of use a little moist towel to kind of clean the, the the bugs and the the dust off. And that's it. You don't want to wash them, you know. You don't want to make them because they're like sponge. They will soak up all the water, and then then you're gonna get. And then they will actually let out a lot of moisture too when you start cooking them. So you better not like add more oyster uh, moisture to it. So we're just gonna have uh, like some garlics and onions, chopped garlics and onions. And uh, and butter. So who doesn't like butter, right? I mean, like if you're afraid of mushrooms, I think the butter will help. You know, it will solve that problem. It will make the it will make everything just so much better. All right. So I'm gonna use some uh, some olive oil. The pan's like medium heat. And um, just kind of heat up the pan. Sweat the uh, onion first. We're gonna. Wet them. And everything all brown and aromatic. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of butter. And then uh, there's a lot of moisture come out of butter too, so we want to kind of get that moisture out. Just a little bit of salt, so to set the base. You don't want too much salt because you want the, the natural flavor, right? Freshly ground butter, I mean pepper. Get that going. I'm just gonna put the mushroom in there. And then uh, they will extra shrink, so it's okay they're big. But, mmm, uh, oh yeah, you can definitely smell it. Here I'm gonna use my Asian cooking utensil. 
I'm gonna flip them a little bit. Get to make them, you know, a little brown them a little bit on both sides. So they evenly cook. See, like when uh, when they get cooked, they get really soft. So like the big ones will get take a little time to cook, the small ones they they cook a lot faster. See like a lot of moisture coming out already. So here I'm gonna crank up the heat because the, the moisture is gonna start drowning the, the mushroom. You don't want it. The mushrooms swimming in there. Mmm. Oh yeah, and once the uh, you once you see the moisture is evaporated, you can turn the heat back to a uh, medium. A little bit of green onion. Mmm, looks good, doesn't it? A little bit of taste test on a little small one. Mm. Not too salty, perfect. Done just right. And when they're soft, they're pretty much done. Okay, voila. That's what we got here. Just some good old morale saute and butter and garlic some onions olive oil some crushed pepper that's it huh? it looks tasty well thanks for watching i hope that helps you um, finding your mushrooms and how to prepare it this is just one of the way to do it um, maybe next time i try something else but this is my favorite way to eat morale.